Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this marvelous Monday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, love and blessings and namaste to you. And thank you for your support. If you are a returning sub, thank you for your support, love and light and namaste to you too. So, I hope everybody's doing good on this marvelous Monday. If you have not subscribe to my channel yet please like and subscribe hit a comment i almost forgot I'm, you know switching subjects here i'm sorry um i know it's been a few days you guys i i've just ooh. <laughs> it has just been crazy it's just really been crazy i've been getting so much stuff done and it's like i had to relax relate release i'm serious i really did um today my video is about twin flame 101 seeing the light at the end of the tunnels and signs to know that you're there um or heading to it getting close to it right now i feel overwhelmed with so many emotions right now uh because i know things are getting better things are I'm starting to see the light okay and it's just when you're going through things I don't know about you guys but I noticed that I've been attracting a lot of people that are sensitive to different people's emotions that they stay closed off you know from other people sometimes you know they feel like they get you know sometimes nervous or overwhelmed when they're in front of a, a big group of people I know I'm like that and I, you know, and it's a good thing that, you know, you stay to yourself. It's just sometimes it's like you hate being alone. It's boring at some times, but that lets you know it's time for you. There's something that you need to do. You know, you might be wanting to talk to a friend and all of a sudden, you know, either they're busy or somebody doesn't answer the phone or whatever. That's your time to get to know yourself. It's just like when you're coming to your your journey and it's coming to a close or it's coming to the end of that chapter to start a new one you will start seeing signs coming from all over the place sometimes you will be fear you will be fearful at times because you don't know all these different emotions like right now i'm going through kundalini ascension phases uh all these it, it's just some stuff i just I, I, another word i can't even get my my it's at the tip of my tongue but it's like a kundalini ascension ascension um where i'm hot cold my hands are staying clammy again i haven't been like this in months and it's just like my nerves i'm like oh my god you're just running around and stuff like that wash my hair and you know got all relaxed and stuff like that and it's just like oh my gosh when you're you're getting the signs it's like sometimes you feel stagnant that's only but fear is fear itself. We put ourselves in a box where we feel like our our dreams and our passions are limited. If they're for the greater good, nothing is your limit is limitless. You you can go as far as you take yourself. The only person that can stop you is you. And it's just like other people come in and I notice that things have been happening where it will make me shut down or feel like I want to shut down or then you're just wondering why you're by yourself at some times and i've talked about that in some of my videos and it's good to be like that because there's there's a reason for people being in your life when they're in your life and it's just like a lot of things that have been festering up a lot of memories that's been coming back that i've actually been able to deal with and i mean sometimes i'll um get emotional but it's like now the emotion is happiness like, I'll just cry. Like, I'll tell my dad, Dad, I love you. And then he's just looking at me like, why every time you tell me you love me, you you, you always got to cry? And I'm like, I don't know. It's just so, you know, it feels so sentimental because it's like this new love I found with me and my dad, I've, it's always been there. But me able to recognize it for what it is is just so beautiful for what it is and it, it just feels really good that I'm knowing myself and loving myself and it's just like when I look back you know when you really feel like you haven't really gotten far it then if you look at where you were yesterday and the day before that or the week or the week before that or the month you learn new things about yourself and new things about the world every day you really do and it's just 
all these different emotions that I'm having coming out and it's just like sometimes I feel like I'm falling and I know that's just me coming to a major life change I know it's that's what it is and it's just like right now I'm listening to this relaxing spa music because my nerves were like ah! you know I'm just like oh my god oh my god oh my god because they got so many different things going on and it, it, it just feels really good and even though it's just like the ending to this part of my life is not really clear right now I know it's there and I have to know when you're you're coming towards your path you have to believe in yourself you have to have faith that things are going to be better because there were things that were standing in my way that I was allowing to stand in my way because nothing can stand in your way unless you allow it to you will, sometimes you might feel stuck like I can't do this I can't do that and things are happening for a reason to force you they will put things in your path to force you to have to face them and some people don't want to deal with that and that's like I, well, I try to get it people you know you don't want to suppress a lot of things because I had to learn that the hard way I'm trying to walk you know preach what I what I, I want to talk what I preach and preach what I talk you know and live by it because I'm telling you it, it's just like me going through all the different things and I did not want to face it because it's like growing up it was you know very hard and it was like things that I talked about that had stuff to do with my dad. I was punished for, I was beat for, and I couldn't really say anything. And it's just like coming out, it took a lot of courage to do. And it was just like, we will fall down sometimes, but do not get discouraged. It's just, you have to find a different way to go about where you're going because it's just like, we can keep praying and praying, but if we don't do the work for what we want, you can't expect it to come overnight. It's just how much you want this. This is that's why I had to tell myself how much do you want this? You know, you're you're gonna have different roadblocks and stuff like that. That's okay. You turn right around and go on somewhere else. Use the GPS and follow your other way around. Just go with the flow. You don't have to have everything figured out in one day. You don't. Just enjoy the ride. That's why I keep hearing from my dad. Enjoy the ride. And it's like now. A lot of people that have passed around me, I'm starting to hear them and I'm starting to feel them and it is just, it feels good. And I know that was like a kundalini thing. You'll start feeling like your spirit guides or people around you and stuff like that. And I've been getting these chills, like either I'm hot or I'm cold. It feels like I'm having a flu and I know I'm not sick, but it, it's just like, cause it'll, it's just a come and go thing, come and go thing. And when when you're just going through stuff guys just just pray about it meditate because there's there's times you're going to be by yourself there's times things are not going to be exactly how you're expecting them to go but maybe that's directing you into the path where you're supposed to be because there's so many things that i thought i wanted to do from the beginning when i started making these videos and now it's just like everything is has just opened my eyes to things it's just like i used to go by a name called akasha back in the day and it was like, like i said i look up my views and stuff like that and i go off the numbers that i go through that you know to get my answers and stuff like that if they really don't seem clear to me or double numbers you'll start getting synchronicities too like i've been seeing um a red corvette like it just seems like when I pull out my house or something like that, go to the store, this blue red Corvette just pops right in front of me. And it's just like, slow down. Just if you want it to last, slow down. Stop expecting everything to come at you at one time. Just just be patient. And I know things right now is teaching me patience. With me being a Taurus, we ain't got patience like that. I don't. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I be wanting stuff right now. But if you want it to be a good thing for you, you might have want you might have think that you wanted it at the time and it's it might not have been right for you at that time and then you might get frustrated or whatever you might have not you might have thought you were ready for it because you might be in a hurry you might be anxious so that that means you don't have faith that things are going to come out for you so you want everything right now and anything that's microwave like fast food you already know you you can eat right now and be 10 to 15 minutes later you just don't waste about ten dollars because you got to be hungry again so it's just like if you want a good foundation on things that you want in life, you're gonna you're gonna go through your your fall downs. You're gonna have your mistakes. You're gonna have your bumps and roads. But that means you need to keep on pushing. Don't let nobody get in your way. Don't even let yourself get in your way. 
just allow yourself to breathe. If there's times where you feel overwhelmed, you stay busy because I've stayed so busy and focused on one thing that I'm not paying attention to everything else around me that's happening that, you know, might be getting my attention because my focus is just on one thing. So it's just like live your life, but don't give up on your dream. Believe in yourself and have faith that everything is just because you're in a current situation. You always got to look at the good things that's out of the bad situations. They might be really bad, but there's always a good thing that you have to be grateful for. Every day I wake up and it's just like it could be a sip of water. A lot of people don't have that sip of water. You know, there's some people, you know, right now we're going through all these storms and hurricanes and eclipses and earthquakes and fires and stuff we have to be so grateful on the little things that we have because there's so many people right now it's just been out you know puerto rico is just i don't even think they even had electricity yet after the hurricane we just had like almost two weeks ago it seems like about two weeks ago it just seems like time is flying past i didn't even know today was monday i thought today was still sunday so <laughs> that's how my great my week has been it's just been so long i thought it was still sunday but you guys, I'm not going to hold you up. Uh, you have a blessed week. I will talk to you in a few days. And just just be easy on yourself. Never be hard on yourself. Just know that you're going to be in a better place. Just because your final destination. Don't think your current situation is your final destination. Now I will keep you guys in my prayers and love and light. And namaste to you. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.